Hey, announcer guy here for Sean and Kevin, world travelers who occasionally go to places you haven't been. In this episode, the boys are in Cow Bay, Silver Sands Beach, Rainbow Haven Beach, and Lawrencetown Beach, Nova Scotia, in Canada. So settle in and welcome to Travel by Numbers. Welcome back, everyone. Nova Scotia's eastern shores harbor a trifecta of coastal wonders, each contributing to the province's maritime allure. Cow Bay, a community near Halifax, epitomizes coastal living with its rocky shores and sandy beaches. A close-knit atmosphere pervades, embracing residents and seasonal dwellers in a tapestry of maritime charm. Rainbow Haven Beach is a coastal gem renowned for its pristine beauty and family-friendly atmosphere. The crescent-shaped sandy beach spans 1,500 feet and is adorned with golden sands, dunes, and crystal-clear waters, offering visitors a tranquil escape just a short drive from downtown Halifax. Lawrencetown Beach emerges as a surfing mecca. Renowned for its consistent waves, it draws surfers of all levels to ride the Atlantic swells. Beyond the thrill of surfing, Lawrencetown Beach invites visitors to bask in its scenic coastal environment, engage in beachcombing, and relish the soothing ocean breeze. Now before we head out on our multi-beach adventure, have a look at this. And now for unusual things about Halifax. Silver Sands Beach, nestled in Cow Bay, is characterized by its rocky expanse, making it a cherished haven for surfers. Although swimming may not be its primary allure, keep a keen eye out for fool's gold, adding an element of intrigue to your beachside exploration. Cow Bay's Silver Sands Beach enjoyed peak popularity from the late 1800s to the 1960s when it was renowned for its sandy shores, attracting locals seeking a favorite retreat. In 1930, the beach saw the construction of a dance hall and canteen, accompanied by concrete animal sculptures adorning the landscape. Today, only the moose sculpture remains as a testament to its vibrant past. However, the late 1960s brought transformative changes as the city undertook the removal of sand, leading to the beach's transformation into a rocky terrain.
you think? Pretty impressive. Do you know the name of this beach? No, what's the name? <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. Well, why are you asking like, me? Well, that's the know. trouble when you keep driving and driving and then you end up somewhere and it's like, where the heck are we? <laughs> well, there should be a name someplace. I know. It's posted. Well, I was just we're, telling. sorry, we're somewhere uh, near Eastern Passage. We're down Cow Bay Road. Uh, this is opposite the harbor to Halifax. I was just telling Kevin how accessible uh, Nova Scotia is for people with uh, disabilities. There's ramps, there's accessible washrooms right down by the beach. Yeah, I was surprised actually, even uh, by the parking lot there, there are outhouses for people with wheelchairs. I've <clears throat> never seen that anywhere else, I don't think. Rainbow Haven Beach. Rainbow Haven Beach? Haven. Okay, now we got it. see here there are sort of uh, not carpet but uh, tracks I'll just call them tracks uh, for people uh, in wheelchairs so that they can access the beach as well without getting stuck in the sand and we're in that building that you see in the distance here are uh, actually change rooms water I've ever touched before but it's it's pretty cold. Is it? Yeah. One of the defining features of Rainbow Haven Beach is its name, inspired by the occasional appearance of vibrant rainbows that grace the skies above, adding an extra layer of enchantment to the already picturesque setting. The beach exudes a tranquil ambience, drawing families, sun seekers, and nature enthusiasts alike. The rhythmic symphony of waves lapping against the shore provides a soothing soundtrack as visitors engage in various recreational activities or simply unwind under the open sky. Beyond its sandy shores, Rainbow Haven Beach connects seamlessly with the Salt Marsh Trail, an enticing pathway that meanders through coastal ecosystems. Nature enthusiasts and hikers find solace in the trail's diverse landscapes from tidal flats to salt marshes, providing an immersive experience in the region's natural beauty. In essence, Rainbow Haven Beach is a multifaceted destination that caters to diverse interests. So, so love this beach? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're heading off where next? Oh, probably another beach.
<laughs> the next word in our Nova Scotia slang is scoff, and I'll spell it. It's S C O F F. Scoff? Scoff. Scoff. It's not plural. It's not like scoffs. Scoff. No. Don't scoff at that. Like, don't, um, I don't know. Don't, don't uh, scoff. Don't, uh, Hmm. Um, don't put your nose up to something. Don't scoff at it. Uh, it's actually, that would be a Nova Scotian making fun of you. So I'll give you an example. Uh, it means if we're eating quickly, I'll be ready oh, in a second. Oh, don't scoff it down. Just don't scoff it oh, down. Okay, yeah. I think I've used that before, that word. <laughs> We're here at Lawrencetown Beach because Sean wants to investigate surfing school. Since 2005, East Coast Surf School has been imparting surf lessons in the vicinity of Halifax. The excitement of catching that inaugural wave is unparalleled. The seasoned surf instructors, integral members of the Nova Scotia surfing community, ensure that the majority of their students ride the waves after just one session. The 1.7 kilometer beach is naturally shielded by a circular cobblestone barrier transitioning to sand, with its south facing direction delivering the province's most reliable waves. With only a few unsurfable days annually, Lawrence Town's extensive stretch is ideal for novice surfers seeking both solitude and the chance to witness the prowess of intermediate surfers. Additionally, two point breaks at each end cater to expert surfers. Lawrencetown Beach emerges as the ultimate and nearest surf haven to Halifax, allowing more time on the waves and less time on the road. Just had to take a break out of the sun, and I uh, ordered the um, like a summer salad. It's really good. It's Sixteen dollars. This place is called the uh, Salt Yard Social. It's right down by the harbor in Halifax. It's pretty loud. And we also had uh, we have two beers going at the same time. So. If you enjoyed today's episode, please click the like button. And by subscribing and turning notifications on, you'll help us create new content. Thanks for watching. And remember, experiences, not things.